The company was founded as a two-man uh, small job shop uh, here in Fort Walton. Um, they supported the two main Air Force bases here, Eglin Air Force Base and Herbrook Field. Uh, my family purchased the company in 1997 and we've grown since then into aerospace and defense work. Primarily in the aerospace world we do a lot of uh, aluminum airframe components. 80% of what we machine uh, day in and day out is aluminum um, and titanium as well. Um, but we also get into our stainless steels and our carbon steels and aircraft alloys and stuff of that nature. A lot of our parts are uh, prototype first run throughs um, so we can go into hopefully long term production and our goal is to achieve the uh, fastest process that we can go with a machine. Cycle times are always a big issue in quality. You know, first piece off, you always want to try to hit 100%, but sometimes you can't do that. So we determined that we did not have sufficient equipment with the characteristics that we needed to machine thin wall applications. So we went to one of our main machine suppliers, Mazak, uh, through Pinnacle Machine, and we gave them our requirements. This is what we need, this is the envelope size, and these are the types of requirements that our customers are wanting from us. About a four month evaluation period for cost and return on investment, and then in March of 2015, we placed a purchase order with Mazak to purchase the first ever VHB 160 profiler. The Mazak Horizontal Profiler, it's a new concept that Mazak has, has, has manufactured. There's similar ones out there in the, in the marketplace today, but it's the first one that Mazak built, and it's a, it's a VHB 160, and that's what it gets to, it's a vertical horizontal profiler. You know, the specialness of it is, is that one, uh, you know, it, it, you load it vertically. So it's very easy to bring a fork truck up or an overhead crane, the gantry, and just load the, the, the pallets. And then uh, the pallets rotate into position, and we can load either one of those pallets. And then it indexes that part up to where it machines horizontally, where then your cutting tools don't recut chips and those kind of things. Uh, so it acts as like a horizontal machining center. Part of the process of buying the machine, uh, because it is a machine that doesn't get shipped in whole, it has to be disassembled and reassembled, uh, we actually uh, prepared ourselves and flew out to Japan December of 2015 and did what we call a runoff test, um, where we uh, made sure we had all the features that we had placed on purchase, uh, made sure that the machine performed the way it was advertised, and uh, it did just that. So when we get out to the plant uh, in Japan, uh, we're walking through the shop, and although I've seen pictures of the machine, although I've seen video of the machine, uh, there is nothing that compares to walking up to it for the first time and just the monstrosity and, and the beauty, beauty of it. It became very evident after the first day of the testing period that this was the machine that we needed for our requirements for our customers. With the, uh, the horizontal build with the table, chip evacuation is going to be a huge thing, especially with the higher feed rates. For a cost-effective um, standpoint, having the, uh, the dual pilot changer, if you will, we can actually set up, prove out, and run a first operation, get, like I said, you know, five sides, let's say, and be setting up and fixturing our secondary operation on the other pilot so we'll have minimum downtime on the spindle and our load times will be next to nothing because we always have a spindle turning while we're unloading and reloading work pieces. I would hope to say in the near future we would have that machine loaded where, you know, it's a, it's running production where we're 24 hour run times yielding eight pieces, two loads, so you have unintended time and you actually have two or three machines side by side trying to achieve the same level of um, machining. Customer service has been huge with Mazak. Um, Fort Walton Machine and Mazak seem like we've had a good, uh, a good run with um, prompt and quick response to any technical or service problems that we have. And just, you know, the desire to uh, build our machining capability and work with a partner that, you know, the McDonald's have grown into over the years of being open. Um, you, you build a good, uh, I guess, partnership with a machine manufacturer and it kind of, you know, it goes, it goes well for both directions. In our experience in the uh, coming up on our 30 years of machining and manufacturing, uh, we have relied heavily on Mazak because they do reinvest into the technology. They are constantly re-innovating re themselves. We always say here at Fort Walton Machining, the parts you make are only as good as the tools you have to make them with.
and they've proven that over many, many years, and their support is absolutely outstanding, world class. Mazak made it very easy, though. They have some good people, and you know, if you really look at what they've they've done in such a short period of time, you know, it, it just amazes me. And, and to get the accuracy out of the machine after you have to take it apart in Japan and put it back together in the U.S., so. Hats off to Mazak and their team for what they've done.